Hi GP learners, do you find that time has a habit of slipping away from you and you're not quite sure where your time goes? Well, sometimes tracking that can sometimes help you change so then you can find the difficult points that need to be adapted. And in this episode, we're going to have a look at a tool that may help you do that. Let's tech enhance your primary care and learning. If this is the first time we're meeting, I'm Dr. Gandalf of EGP Learning, where I look at supporting you with technology-enhanced primary care and learning. And in this episode, we're going to have a look at a tool called Clockify, which I've been using for a while to try and track what I'm doing. And that gives me some metrics to know how I can change and find the pain points of what saps my time. As always, if you want to see the full video, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, EGP Learning, or our Facebook page, EGP Learning, or our Twitter page, EGP Learning or at Dr. Gandalf 52 alternatively. And as always, subscribe, comment, share, and let's tech enhance your primary care and learning. See you later. Bye. Hi, GP Learners. So this is the Clockify homepage that gives you access to the tools and resources that you may want to use. Um, it's pretty easy to use because actually you just need to register just like you would for an email address and stuff. And then it allows you to get to the web browser, which you can integrate. It does work with modern browsers. So you do need something like Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. And this may be an issue in terms of where using it in practice and stuff. So obviously you do get it, try and get it authorized by the local IT department, that kind of stuff. However, once you do, this is the interface that you're kind of left looking at. Now, I've logged on to the projects page, first of all, here. And the reason for that is one of the powerful things that this software can do is let you break down different categories of work into projects. And you can allocate any particular name to those kind of tools and that kind of stuff. So as you can see here, I've got things like break, clinical uh, telephone assessment, which is one of the things that we do in our practice, uh, clinical admin, clinical face to face, that kind of stuff. And I categorize these things to various different aspects. I even have separate pro projects for letters and um, pathology, um, managing prescriptions, for example, referrals, and even admin and, and partnership meetings and that kind of stuff. You can, if you want to also allocate different colors to make it easier for the metrics when you have a look at them later on, as well as put billable sections on them. And that, that can be useful if you want to have a bit more of a closer look as to what's actually um, paid work in the sense of contractual or unpaid work or vice versa, you know, to give you a better idea of that. So it is a little tool that you can use. Obviously, that side of functionality is probably better for the more enterprise kind of um, employment kind of thing. So contractors and that kind of stuff who may use that to actually track what they're doing and the rates that they're doing it and that kind of stuff. However, in applying it to using general practice, it still has some use in terms of the metrics you want to use. But obviously, that's something you may need to decide yourself. One of the benefits of this tool as well is that actually it is free to use for all members of the team in its basic function. We'll come back to that at the end. But it's important to remember that. So once you set up the different kind of things you actually want to track, how do you do it? Well, very simply, you go to the time tracker part that looks like this. Now, mine looks slightly different to the first time you'll see it because obviously it's got some information there. I've um, removed some of the more recent stuff so that you can't actually see that because I don't actually want to show that at this point. But this is some of the historic stuff, as you can see from back in October. And this is some of the work I was doing. So it's information in terms of the time I spent doing clinical telephone appointments and um, clinical face to face pathology, all that kind of stuff. And then you can actually put different names versus the projects that you've been using. So, for example, this was a training and teaching session that I did. And I identified that this was for a locum debrief that I did. And that may be in comparison to the GP debrief, GP reg debrief that I did earlier in the day and stuff. So just to give you a bit more flexibility in terms of how you categorize your day. But how do you actually use the tool? Well, it's really simple. So say, for example, you wanted to log your morning clinic. OK, so you simply type in morning clinic. Yeah. Then you add it to a project. So for me, that would potentially be something like a clinical face to face or it could be a clinical telephone assessment clinic that I've been doing. You can categorize it there. Yeah. You can add a tag if you want. So I created three tags, one for admin, clinical and practice organization. So three different parts of my roles that I thought were useful to have an idea. So I put that down as clinical. Um, and then that is automatically into a cost because I like to track the clinical work to show that that's work that we're doing in paid in terms of the contract and that kind of thing. And then simply click start. And there you go. It is now tracking my time. And then when I finish my clinic, what I have to do, I click end. And as you can see, it's now logged it for me. So it gives you a time, start and stop and that kind of stuff. You can edit them if, for example, you forget to switch it off, which is probably quite common and stuff. And you can then edit the times as you need to. And um, you can even, if need be, look at the dates and that kind of stuff. 
obviously doing that for every single thing may get a bit boring and may get a bit monotonous and more importantly you're less likely to engage with it if it's difficult well the good thing is that clockify has made it really easy for you to just simply get up and running once you've started and what i mean by that well say it's now later in the day and i'm actually want to do my pathology filing well simply i've recently done it a couple of days ago so i can just click play and as you can see, it's already linked in with all the various different parts in terms of the project and if they're applicable, you know, the other kind of tags and, and that kind of stuff. And it's clocking it already. So it's tracking what I'm doing. And the only thing I need to remember is to end it at the appropriate time if I change tasks and that kind of stuff. It does require a little bit of user interface and it'd be nice if it automatically did that. Mm, unfortunately, this tool doesn't allow you to do that. And I guess the kind of tools that would allow you to do that may have some issues in terms of IT having that on your computer even more so than using something like Google Chrome and things. But pretty easy to use. But what's the point? You've got this information. How is that relevant to you? How is that useful to you? Well, for that, you need to have a look at the metrics that it provides. So the next page is the dashboard. So this is looking at one of my earlier weeks. And this basically gives me a, a split in terms of how much time I spent per day. Um, so this was a lighter week towards the end because I had some leave and stuff that I needed to take. And as you can see, I don't work Saturdays and Sundays. Um, but then what it does do is it breaks down the amount of time I've monitored, uh, sorry, logged that I've been working. So in that week, I spent a total of about an hour and eight minutes actually doing on-call work. And important to remember for this, that's not to say that's how long I was on call for. This is how long I was actually doing tasks related to on-call duties. So that's how I monitor it. And it's important you have those kind of clarifications for yourself. I spent half an hour or so doing GP ad partner admin stuff, about an hour and 20 minutes doing pathology throughout the week, clinical telephones, hour and 25. And if we go down a bit lower, we'll see some of the bigger hits. So clinical face-to-face, -face, about six hours and 11 minutes, clinical telephone assessment. Yeah, I did quite a lot that week, um, 10 hours or so, clinical admin. Many of you working in primary care will not really be surprised that I actually spent more time doing clinical admin than I do clinical face to face time. Interesting to know, isn't it? And it's got various different things and you can obviously clock that up quite easily. So that breaks down into different projects. However, what if you want to go deeper? Well, you can then look at the report section and this can give you a breakdown day by day. This can give you a breakdown in terms of um, kind of the different categories and how much time specifically spent on it. Or if you want to go even more deeper, there is a detailed report that will actually break it down by task as we saw earlier. So that's this particular section. Um, unfortunately, the day has changed, so can't show you that just yet, but easy to go back to a relevant date like that. And there we go. You can see the actual day and a more detailed report of everything that I was doing on that particular day and how I've clocked it. And it is just simply a click of a button. Um, so, you know, in terms of how it works and functions, really useful and stuff. Why am I showing that this week? Well, this week, Pulse Today have launched their workload um, survey that they're doing, and that finishes this Friday. I would highly encourage you to engage with it if you haven't done so already. And it's looking at the amount of work that you've done on the 11th of February. Um, so if you go to the Pulse website, and then they will be able to, on the top, as you can see, is their workload survey. Definitely have a look at that. But in addition, I do think being able to track the work that you are doing as a clinician is actually quite useful because then that will give you better information to know what is taking up a lot of your time. I can understand many will say, well, I still have to click and I have to remember to do it. Fair enough. But Clockify does allow you to, uh, you know, adjust some of those informations. Clearly, there needs to be some integrity, you know, within teams that can become a bit of an issue. As I said, uh, in the, even the free package allows you to have various different members of your team. However, if you wanted to have a look at more kind of functionality and stuff, um, then remove that. Then you can have a look at the different packages that they have. So as I said, free allows you unlimited time tracking users and projects and also put some other kind of things. However, extra plans will give you different kind of functionality like timesheets, time rounding, um, plus features give you alerts and all that kind of stuff, bulk editing, that kind of thing. If I'm being honest, I don't really think you need anything more than the free package. It does exactly what I guess many would want it to do. And I think particularly for teams like practice managers, change managers and federations who are trying to figure out how to work more effectively within practice and stuff, this can be a really effective tool to help you do that. 
in part because it is so simple to use. You can clearly export any of this information as you need as well into different formats like CSVs and, and Excel sheets and stuff. So I really would recommend having a look at this if you want to try and figure out where the challenges in terms of how you're working are, where those you know time sinks are, because that will give you the information to allow you to do that. You could clearly argue pen and paper will do the exactly same job. Yes, it will. Benefit of this, you can use it from any computer. It's backed up into the cloud, so it's saved up and stuff. So you don't have to worry about losing those pieces of paper, which I unfortunately do on a regular basis. And actually it does all the metrics for you. You don't have to then give it to someone else to do or do it yourself in terms of that. The reports and everything is done automatically. And it is very easy to play with. So I really would recommend having a look at this tool. I think it's quite a sensible little piece of kit to have a look at. Clearly an expansion that I would love to see with the, the, this can do all that tracking for you automatically, particularly from an appraisal point of view, if it allowed you to track what websites you were looking at in terms of, um, you know, CPD and that kind of stuff, or which clinical resources you may be using. There is a tool out there that allows you to do that. I'm not going to cover that in this video, but we'll do in a future one. There's obviously some issues with using that as well, though. So anyway, have a look at Clockify, guys. Let me know what you think. You know, feedback to me in terms of what you think it would be useful for you or why you may not want to use it and stuff. Um, as always, guys, make sure you click to, and onto our YouTube channel and subscribe. And more importantly, ring the bell to be notified of all of our videos as soon as they come out. Or alternately, do that on the Facebook page so that you get here of these videos every single week on time. Um, feel free to feedback to me through either format or as well on Twitter at EGP Learning or at Dr. Gandalf 52 if you want to grab me on my personal one. And as always, guys, subscribe, comment, share. Let's tech enhance your primary care and learning. See you later. Bye.